गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सरस्वती विद्या मंदिर कॉमर्स सेक्शन वी आर रनिंग इन चैप्टर थ्री डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ इनकम एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट इन डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ इनकम एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट इट नाउ वी स्टडी अबाउट कंजम्पन कंजम्पन फंक्शन वॉट इज सेविंग सेविंग फंक्शन कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एग्रीगेट डिमांड एंड एग्रीगेट सप्लाई द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ एग्रीगेट डिमांड like consumption and investment and aggregate supply like uh, consumption and saving after analyze the whole concept before this now we turn on the concept of equilibrium of economy as we know that in this chapter we going to find the economy's equilibrium regarding output and income and employment Thus, uh, here the concept of short-run equilibrium, alkaline suntulan. As we know that uh, short-run in microeconomics, uh, short-run is a problem period, known as problem period because in short-run, an investor became incapable to adjust uh, according to market demand and supply. He also unable to adopt new technology. also enable to make new investment and other things thus in the pro, uh, short run in macroeconomics we know that uh, short run refers that uh, particular point of time where there is a equilibrium can be achieved between two variables as we know that short run in an economy can be defined as the period of time during which level of output is determined only by the level of employment yani macroeconomics mein aur jab hum log baat karte hain brihat arthvyavastha ki to wahan pe short run ka matlab kyunki macroeconomics mein uh, kabhi koi equilibrium hota nahi hai the factors were as interdependent on each other that there were totally impossibility of equilibrium between two variables at a certain point of time but in macroeconomics equilibrium can be considered only for a little bit a short period of time at a moment of time and in, in this chapter we going to describe that short period whether there is a equilibrium it it refers that time period during which the level of output level of output is determined only by the level of employment yani output and employment were perfectly associated with each other the employment level is going to be determined output level and output level is going to be determined employment level it means that in this case o oh, there is a perfect correlation between o equal to y equal to e yani output income and employment mein there is a perfect positive association or correlation thus it is short run and it can be achieved that type of equilibrium can be achieved only in short period in macro economics to so, <coughs> abs approach se ya is chapter mein jab hum equilibrium ki baat karte hain तो हम शॉर्ट रन इक्लिबीडियम में उसी इक्लिबीडियम की बात करते हैं जहां पे आउटपुट जस्ट बिकेम इक्वल टू एम्प्लॉयमेंट लेवल आउटपुट लेवल इज जस्ट बिकेम इक्वल टू एम्प्लॉयमेंट लेवल अब इक्लिबीडियम आउटपुट इट रेफर्स टू अ सिचुएशन वेयर एग्रीगेट डिमांड एंड एग्रीगेट सप्लाई बिकेम इक्वल टू ईच अदर इन एज वी नो दैट इन मार्केट द प्राइस ऑफ ए पर्टिकुलर आइटम वर गेट डिसाइडेड ऑन दैट प्राइस वेयर द डिमांड एंड सप्लाई of that uh, good intersect each other and at that point the pri- equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity were decided same as in equilibrium output and employment were decided at that point where aggregate demand and aggregate supply get uh, equal to each other and that is a very rare moment because in most of economy or in several economy there were very few moments whether aggregate demand became equal to aggregate supply and it never be possible that an economy remain itself in that type of equilibrium if an economy 
able to do so, then that economy is a perfect economy. And uh, a perfect thing cannot be uh, uh, in uh, reality. So aggregate demand and aggregate supply became equal to each other. It's just a hypothetical. Uh, every economy were going to be trying to get that situation or position, but uh, several economy uh, unable to get that uh, situation. And that situation is uh, not uh, achieved by any economy in any circumstances because economy itself a dynamic concept. So never that position or a point will become where there is a perfect uh, equi equilibrium between aggregate demand and aggregate supply. In that type of economy, that economy were totally out of uh, inflationary or deflationary situation. So this situation was called ideal situation for an economy. If aggregate demand and aggregate supply became equal to each other, it means that uh, at that e e on that point there were totally absence of inflation and totally absence of deflation. There were uh, a perfect uh, condition of equilibrium. Now, thus we, as we know that AD equal to C plus I because aggregate demand refers to the, that total expenditure which is incurred by uh, household and uh, production sector on their consumption and investment goods within one financial year. That AD equal to C plus I and AS equal to C plus S. Aggregate supply refers that total value of goods and services which is produced, uh, produced by different sectors of the economy within one financial year. And according to that production, in, in the consequence of that production, the income also generated and income has two parts, either consumption or saving. So aggregate supply equal to C plus S equal to Y bhi hota hai, income bhi hota hai. Income utra hi hoga, jitna output hoga on the basis of BMPL theory. BMPL theory ke aadhar par, jo hai, ya output jitna hoga, utna income hoga, aur income ka phir do part, ya to khayega ya bachayega, aur yahi do part mil karke aggregate supply ka nirman karte hai. So at the point of equilibrium, AD equal to AS. AD AS ke barabar hoga, अब जैसा कि हम लोग जानते हैं कि AD बराबर होता है C plus I और AS बराबर होता है C plus S तो CC अगर कट गया तो बचा S equal to I ये एक approach हमको मिला S equal to I approach दस we get two approaches of equilibrium output अतः हम दो approach प्राप्त करते हैं equilibrium output का पहला AD equal to AS approach aggregate demand and aggregate supply approach और दूसरा ये दोनों एप्रोच सॉर्टर निक्लिबिडियम एप्रोच है AD equal to AS एप्रोच और दूसरा S equal to I एप्रोच यानी सेविंग equal to investment एप्रोच और aggregate demand equal to aggregate supply एप्रोच अब अगर हम लोग पहले एप्रोच की बात करें तो पहला एप्रोच जो AD equal to AS एप्रोच है ये एप्रोच अलग से आपको छह नंबर के क्वेश्चन में आता है कि डिस्क्राइब इक्विबेरियम इन एन इकोनॉमी थ्रू AD AS एप्रोच तो इकोनॉमी इक्विबेरियम थ्रू एडीएस एप्रोच तो इस एडीएस एप्रोच को दिखाने के लिए हमको क्या करना होगा ये फिगर बनाना होगा इस ओआई एक्सिस पे हमने एग्रीगेट डिमांड और एग्रीगेट सप्लाई को दिखाया है ओवाई ओ ओ ओ एक्स एक्सिस पे हमने इनकम और इंप्लाइमेंट को दिखाया है एएस एग्रीगेट सप्लाई लाइन इज अ 45 डिग्री लाइन and AD, aggregate demand, which is C plus I, this is here, which is autonomous consumption and autonomous saving, where they intersect each other, whether AD and AS intersect each other, at that point the equilibrium income level will be decided. And before this, saving is less than investment, and here saving is less investment, and after equilibrium, saving is more than investment point of equilibrium है जहाँ पे ये intersect होते हैं that is figure अब लेकिन इस figure को आगे deal करना होगा कि इसमें what happen when saving is less than investment and what happen when saving is more than investment both situation has different impact over economy so we have to be considered that what 
going to be happen when saving less than investment and what going to be happen when saving is more than investment and there is what's impact of this situation on a on an economy in because this question is a long question so in next video we are going to describe this question in question answer form the full question answer form ad and as approach and then after si approach we're going to be dealing till then keep watching video and make your notes okay